Hello and welcome to History Buff. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the reported hauntings of Suddeli Castle. Suddeli Castle is located in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire. Enveloped in beautiful countryside, but at the same time providing rural isolation where the screams of those being murdered and tortured are less likely to be heard. Present day Suddeli Castle was constructed in 1442 and is believed to have been built on the remains of a 12th century castle. It has played host to a variety of historical figures over the centuries, having been in possession of the crown on a number of occasions, as well as being host to a number of spirits, some of which also being royalty. The Maid Today, Suzidi Castle is owned by the Cupid family, who never have to worry about their home falling into a state of disrepair. This is due to the well-meaning spirit of Janet, who worked as a maid at the castle during the 19th century, as well as ensuring the house stayed in perfect order. Janet was entrusted with the task of keeping unruly teenage boys away from the daughters of the castle owner. By all accounts, Janet took her job very seriously and would sit at the top of the staircase leading to the girls' bedrooms into the early hours of the morning to ensure no youthful manservant got his hands on the young women. Despite the fact the girls in question have long since left Suzuki Castle, Janet is still dedicated to her role of keeping them safe and is frequently seen standing or more aptly sitting guard at the top of the castle staircase. Those who have encountered her over the years claimed she was aware of their presence and frantically shooed them away, waving a feather duster to make her even more intimidating. The Royal Ghost Queen Catherine Parr was the last of King Henry VIII's six wives. Following the death of Henry VIII in 1547, Catherine was able to turn her attention to Thomas Seymour who is believed to have been her true love. Catherine married Thomas and shortly after fell pregnant with a girl. Following the death of a husband, the marriage to a new husband and becoming pregnant in a relatively short span of time, Catherine sought some respite and somewhere peaceful to deliver her child. It was Suzuki Castle in the beautiful Cotswold countryside which would provide that respite. It would be the couple's retreat for the final three months of Catherine's pregnancy and as it would turn out, her life. With an entourage fit for a queen, Catherine set out to travel the 90 or so miles northwest from her manor of Handworth to Thomas Seymour's newly refurbished castle at Suddeley. But sadly for Catherine, the peaceful ideal would not last. On the 31st of August, Catherine delivered a baby girl, who the couple named Mary. The Dowager Queen soon showed the deadly signs of the dreaded puerperal fever. We now know that this was often caused by the attending physician or midwife using dirty instruments, or by not washing their hands during the delivery. Nowadays, we have antibiotics to treat such infections but in the 16th century, the cause, let alone the treatment, was unknown. Catherine lingered for five days as infection ravaged her body, causing multi-organ failure. She died in the early hours of Wednesday, the 5th of September. In accordance with Catherine's religious beliefs, she was buried in the chapel within sight of the place that she had died. And so, Catherine lay in her grave encased in a lead coffin, embalmed in cerecloth, cloth, and undisturbed as the seasons and then the years came and went. Her husband Thomas also went to his grave, executed for treason not many months after Catherine died. Their infant daughter also disappeared from the records, and in time her siblings, friends and family all passed into dust. Catherine's spirit is said to roam the castle corridors looking for her infant daughter, who is believed to have died around the age of two. 
A well-documented account of a ghostly encounter with Catherine Parr was in 1860, when a worker on the estate called Fred Simmons was asked to fix a broken blind by the then Chatelaine of the castle, Emma Dunt. But after repairing the blind by candlelight one evening, Fred was returning through the Chandos room when his candle suddenly went out. He then felt a woman rush past him, her silk dress rustling. He presumed it to be Miss Dent, but on speaking to the castle housekeeper, Miss Bayliss, he discovered that no one else had been upstairs at the time. Fred later confessed that sometime previously he had taken a tooth from Catherine Parr's coffin. Writing in his notebook, he said, Could it be so that the ghost of Catherine was permitted to roam over those old precincts, making night hideous, and to fill the hall those who had been guilty of robbing the dead? Perhaps unsurprisingly, his wife soon urged him to return the tooth to the coffin. The Barn Girl The castle's Tithe Barn is said to be frequented by a young girl in her twenties. A Victorian guest at the castle who has long auburn hair and wears a white dress. She is said to be playful and happy and has been suggested that this is because she had a holiday romance at the castle and it is the barn where she met her lover. Spirit Dogs There are said to be numerous canine spirits, including a large black Labrador, hunting dogs, and two King Charles Spaniels, and Emma Dent's two beloved dogs, Busy and Juno, are buried under a mulberry tree at the castle. Could these pets be among the spirit dogs? The history of Suderley Castle expands through the ages and has seen many horrific events, all of which contributing to the chilling tales of this castle. Thank you for watching History Buff. Please remember to like and subscribe, and click the notification bell to be reminded of any future uploads from the channel.